I have been waiting for this day since end of November. <laughs> I thought that the gardener would start the hedge trimming cleanup winter process, well, you know, before Christmas. So when Christmas came and I just figured, well, that's not going to happen. And then I thought eventually first week of January, he would come and do the hedge. Still didn't happen. And then on Friday, and I'm going to say the days, no matter what Friday it was, simply out of perspective, I suddenly heard all this noise in the background. I was going to start filming and well, <laughs> The gardener was trimming the hedge, but from the other side of the patio. Great! I had no idea. Guess who hustled outside to get all the orchids away from that side of the hedge where they're standing and, you know, getting protected from elements, conditions that might be too harsh. I hustled outside, moved the orchids back because I've got spikes going on my sabidium, right up against the hedge. My delicate leafed fires is right up against the hedge. And everything that just dropped over was just, you know, gonna be falling on my orchids. And ugh, for real, I was so upset. Meanwhile, you can't get mad because you've been waiting for so long that this work would be done. But it's not the first time we're doing it and he knows I'm growing orchids. And I always ask, let me know so I can prepare the patio for when he comes and does the hedge. Meanwhile, he probably thought no need to tell me about it because at the end of the day, I'm on the other side of the hedge. Yeah, well, dude. Anyway, no spikes were broken. I got to everything in time, shuffled things around, removed a few things just to make sure that we have spikes intact and we're going to have ourselves some blooms. But he never returned on Friday afternoon to clean up my side of the hedge. So here we are, chores and a chat. Let's go for it. Because while I'm anticipating the gardener to come back at some point to, I thought, clean up the mess on this side of the patio, not created by me, <laughs> I just thought, well, Friday afternoon he didn't show up. It is now Saturday, Sunday, Monday. He's not in the community at all, meaning Tuesday. Did he expect me to put up with the mess on my side of the patio that he created? until Tuesday, if he even comes to the patio on Tuesday to do this, for real. And of course it's a bit breezy, so it won't be that pristine of a job, but still, can you believe it? I just thought, you know what, when you finish something at one, have, a have your lunch, that's normal, but it was an okay day, it wasn't raining, you know, it was kind of cold, but hey. <laughs> He didn't show up. Not that I was furious, but I was frustrated. You know what I mean? So yeah, I have kind of, I'm losing two days of filming. I couldn't film on Friday afternoon because I was preparing for the live stream. I can't film today, which is now Saturday morning because I am preparing the patio at least so that it doesn't look a complete mess. And I'm sorry for any background noise. I cannot edit out. So yeah, my frustration is real. I feel a little bit anxious. And on top of that, you know, it's difficult filming this time of year because it's so cold. I can only manage an hour at my desk at a time and then I have to stop. And that doesn't make for very effective and efficient workflow. I get interrupted because I have to. My hands get so cold. And yeah, I'm preparing a bulb of film video I've got care cards to create and I can't do them all in one go like I normally do. I get into a nice rhythm, a nice groove with my care cards and I have to stop. And of course the live streams themselves also take a little bit of research, preparing anything that I want to show, talk about, trying to put it into some kind of a format so I don't waste y'all's time finding things there on the spot, etc which is something I have to do now after I finish the patio. So the Bulba film video is going to be one of the longest ones I've had as a project. <laughs> oh, but it is a request video and I will do it. It just, you know, during the winter, things are a little bit different. Things are awkward. I also don't have enough light during the day to be able to film on a regular basis.
if my hands aren't shaking too much after this, because I have to put all of this away to the dumpster that is around the corner, then we're going to go inside because I have to rearrange part of the grow space, shelving, etc. Because I've got my Crestwoods, my Angraecums, they're in bloom, and I'd like them to face into the room as opposed to scrunched up against other orchids which are also starting to bloom, which is awesome. But we can have a goo in the grow space. I found like a bead, precious commodity. <laughs> Create some space. Hopefully save me a trip. Doesn't look like much, but there's a lot here. One thing though is that sure smells nice. Fresh pine. You see, if he had done this before Christmas, I would have been able to use some of this just to make the house smell a little bit more festive. Not that I do much for Christmas anymore these days, but still, it does smell nice. Okay, I just have this corner left, and then I'll show you what I could rescue from the hedge. Because if these branches did come down on anything, you see they're quite big. They will snap a spike without any problems at all. So I'll just tidy this corner up, take everything to the dumpster, and I'll show you around the patio. Just a little recap also, because you know what? Filming this kept me on track. Sometimes there are certain things I just don't want to do and I might do them, but I have a bit, you know, an, let's say a negative demeanor, which can then go throughout the rest of the day. When I film it, I try to, of course, not come across as harsh. I hope I manage that. Here we are. It's done because of you guys. And even if I came across harsh right at the beginning, I can assure you it was done in a more diplomatic demeanor, nicer demeanor, more pleasant demeanor than what I was feeling on Friday late afternoon when he didn't come back. And I just thought, okay, I guess it's up to moi. <laughs> but now that you've been here with me, I did it with a pleasant attitude-ish. <laughs> I'll come back. We'll have a look around the patio after I've been to the dumpster. Right, that looks a lot better. That'll do for now. I did mention that I'm going to the dumpster and I just thought, well, do you want to come with me? <laughs> I'll hook you up. Join me going to the dumpster. Alrighty, in the grow space we are. 
I have some shuffling here to do because I want to present the blooms at least to my side so I can enjoy them as I walk around the corner into the space. Oh, a file just downloaded. Awesome. Anyway, so you can see there's a lot happening on the shelf in front of the Angrecoids. Turning them around means all these roots will be leaning on the shelf. I can't have orchids there for, let's say, the next three weeks until the Angrecoids bloom out, but I think it is well worth the effort, seeing as they did bloom out for us, and that should be honored. So let's get to shuffling, you know, that song. Every day I'm shuffling. All right. My Lundia is in bloom. We've got lots and lots of blooms coming. That's cute. And look, Fernanda, can you see that? Oh, uh, at an awkward angle. Anyway, this is Potinara growing a new growth. Cool, huh? Woohoo! One bud hasn't opened of the bossery. I hope it doesn't blast when I turn the orchid around. Huh. Okay, it's now or never, I guess. I'm not doing this again. Just gorgeous. The thing is, I'm not entirely sure I want to do this now. I'm having second thoughts because, let me show you, the roots are taking up water. And they're so long, I can't put the tray. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, they're fine. They're taking up water. Okay. <laughs> we shall proceed. Eek. Wish me luck. I'm going to start with a bossery because she's easiest. And now, let's move the tray first. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Okay, <laughs> that's done. The tray is a bit higher now than it is normally. And the roots will be higher up. Oh boy. And of course, I watered this morning. Doi. So, oh, well, why not? I'll get the mop out. Make sure I don't break anything. <laughs> don't drop it. Let's put you over here because the last thing I need is for the equipment to go falling over as well. Of course, the dogs are right at my feet because, you know, interesting. Whoa. There we go. Yeah, I thought as much. Oh dear. It was a good idea when I started. But you can see the roots that were drawing water and need the water. They're not reaching the tray. I don't want this for three weeks. I've got to think. I've got to think. All right, let's see if this works. I'm going to raise her up. My goodness. But I fought so hard for these blooms. Timing the terrace door opening and closing, etc. I want to see them. At least some roots will be. Nope, they won't be. She's too high now. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Okay. There's one specific root. I suppose I can tide them over with microfiber. And I cracked a root in the process. Oh well. It's not like she's short on roots and she won't fall over on that. Sorry about the dark shadows. Good that I looked. Check this out. A big adult scale was on one of the spurs of the blooms. So that's going to be a quick check over. Just a quick glance on everything else. And I don't see anything else. Nothing untoward. Just making sure. But no, I don't see any other scale. Wow. Okay, well, the positive effect of this is that I saw scale and it can't perpetuate itself. It's done and dusted. Now I'm going to fill up the trays and I'm also going to correct the spike of the bossery. 
I have this plant Velcro here from Trisha's Orchid Life. Thank you, Orchid Ninja, Trisha's Orchid Life, because this is coming in handy right now. I'm just going to raise that spike up a little bit. And dear bud, please don't blast. Please don't blast. I know it doesn't look fancy schmancy, but look at this. If you can see anything, look at that. Display, primitive but effective. Oh my goodness, they are so beautiful. Just so, so beautiful. This spur can also maybe move to the front of that leaf. There we go. Oh, please don't blast, dear bud. I really want to see the two of you. And because I'm greedy, even though my crest would, all the buds opened. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to have to resituate the orchids, fill up that tray, figure out with microfiber how I'm going to get those roots watered. We're going to do some daisy chaining. Here come the dogs. <laughs> Thank you if you stayed to the end. Like the video, please. It was a bit of a discombobulated one, but we got a few chores done, had a chat. Thank you for listening to me at the beginning. Took you to the dumpster, that's the first. <laughs> I would appreciate a like. Also, if you want to share the craziness of what happens at Ninja Orchids during the winter, things are not quite the way they should be, but anyway, a share would be greatly appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, Please don't let this video put you off if this is the first one you ever saw. It's not normally like this. Circumstances beyond my control <laughs> make me have to do it this way. Anyway, either way, you watch to the end. I can say thank you. That also supports the whole channel a lot. I appreciate you so, so much. I wish you a fabulous day on that one condition, though, that you please stay safe. Take care. Bye.